Hello, you beautiful souls. Welcome here. Thank you so, so much for all of your kindness, all of your support and um, your generous donations. I'm so, so, so grateful for each and every one of you here. Uh, the name of today's reading is Why Did We Meet? So what is the bigger picture here? What is the main reason for this connection? Let's see. I've got three parts of cards for you to choose from. I will answer the picture in a moment. Please take your time. Listen to your intuition. You can say the name of your person out loud or in your mind to connect to them. And then choose a part that resonates with you the most. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Hi everyone who chose part number one or Rose Quartz Heart. Let's see. Why did you meet with your person? We are opening the reading with the hanged man, child, the high priestess, doctor, six of cups, and sides. Part one, I feel like when this person has entered your life, there is this feeling of reminding you, reminding you of something from the past. Maybe your childhood, maybe uh, like your childhood wounds, maybe the way you used to be when you were younger, maybe your dreams, someone you wanted to be when you were younger, there is this energy of retrospection, maybe even some memories from your childhood came up to the surface, like as soon as you started interacting with this person, you started to remember how you maybe liked watching these types of cartoons, or maybe how you went to camping this one time and you experienced something very similar to what you experienced with this person while you were together. Just something is coming to the surface here from your deeper like long-term memories, even like very, very young years, when you were like three, five. It might not be necessarily memories from your childhood. It could be like just the feeling, the feeling um, that this person gives you. It feels like childhood. It feels like something very deep inside of you, something that was um, like based in your psyche very, very early in your life. What's happening, I feel like, I feel like you were uh, changing, growing, developing, and then boom, one moment this person comes into your life and your whole life kind of turns upside down for the, for the sake of retrospection, because it's almost like your attention went from the future, changed from your future, like you were focusing more on your future before, and then it was turned into your past somehow. You started thinking about your past more. And I'm not talking here about your past relationships at all. I'm talking about your relationship with your main caregivers when you were younger. Maybe even your relationship with siblings. Some, something is coming up. It feels very strongly like those things that um, feel like we, we, we might, must have already forgotten about them completely. How can we remember how we were lying in the creep uh, at three years old, and, years old and playing with some toys and now this person comes along and you start remembering weird things like you, you thought you already have forgotten about completely. This is so interesting. Maybe this person is reminding you of a younger version of you, of a more open-minded version of you, more free. Yeah. There is just... They remind you of you, <laughs> I wanna say. Of a younger you, for some reason, I don't know why. Maybe even if you saw this person's childhood pictures, you felt like it was you. Or maybe the, like the, the features were similar. Something... There is this person, I feel like as soon as they entered your life, they, they brought you a lot of retrospection. They brought you a lot of uh, memories 
from your past somehow in some way they remind you of your past even though they were not um, even in the picture back then you had no idea of their existence this is so interesting but the 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 negative part I don't really know if it's negative necessarily well anyway the other side of it is that this person might have triggered some childhood issues like some inner child wounds some traumas some um, not the best memories of your childhood or maybe just some patterns with relationships that uh, were making you sad when you were little or maybe a bit neglected or maybe like when your needs were put on pause this kind of things but this is just so interesting because I feel like you are completely separate people and this person had no idea what your childhood was like and then they come into your life and all of those memories just flood over you. Flood? Yeah, flood, I think that's the word. And also I feel like it's not scary to be vulnerable with them. That's another thing with this person, it's not scary to show them that vulnerable child, show them this um, younger part of you, show them your deepest wounds, desires, fears. This person gives you like a different perspective on all, all of those things. Almost like they're healing your child in some way, your, your inner child, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, healing, yeah, healing you deeply, psychologically. When you never even asked for it, it just comes naturally because of the dynamic of this connection. Wow, very interesting. Maybe they also remind you of someone from your childhood, not necessarily you. For some of you it could be your parents, like the, the, the opposite gender parent. Like if you're a girl, your dad, if you're a man, your mother. Something to do with your childhood. It could be that it, it's very mutual, this effect. You could do the same for them. Very deeply healing connection this is. Deeply healing psychologically, emotionally, and like it, it, mm, the effect of this connection of this person heals you years back, I want to say. I don't know if I'm making sense the way I'm explaining this, but it's like this person is cleaning up, is showing you the bigger picture of what happened back then, somehow. You might not necessarily even be talking about this. It just happens as you go, as you interact, as you speak, as you love each other. Yeah. And I think this is how you, you got hooked. This is how you got connected in the beginning, initially. This, this, is, this aspect was the most um, deep, profound and important for you here. Because you've never experienced this with anyone else. And the same goes for them. Again, a lot of healing that's happening currently here. What's happening here is that sometimes you don't even need to talk about the things that you're hurting about, the things that make you feel sad or th that cause you pain in life, the things that you're worried about with this high priestess and doctor energy. I feel like this person is just very sensitive towards you. They may not be so sensitive towards the other people in their life, in your life, but with you it's just natural for them to check up on you, almost like holding your hand when they feel like the, the energy in you is changing. This is a very, very sensitive connection. You guys, this is a past life connection. I was like going around the bush, but now seeing the Six of Cups and this is a past life connection, for sure. I'm also getting very strongly soulmate energies here, but I'll check, I'll clarify it with the Oracle cards, but I'm sensing this, you were meant to meet in this life, to heal each other a little bit. Or maybe a lot, but healing is very important here. You have, you are both very attuned to the energy of another. And this is exactly why you were put on each other's path, to heal, to heal each other. Sadly, maybe sometimes through triggering each other, but at the same time no one else would feel your pain as 
mm, instantly like this person would. You see with this high priestess and doctor, it almost feels like your silence is uh, is not silence for this person. When you're quiet, they they know they always know when something is uh, is wrong. When you are down, when you are sad, when you are worried about the future, when you have fears, uh, almost like before you know yourself that something is not right, this person knows it, and it's very <coughs> it's very mutual here. <coughs> You hear I can't even speak because like you don't even need to speak with them. That's th that's the thing here. <clears throat> it's all energetic. It's all um, emotional. It's it's a spiritual bond. You feel each other, and you heal each other. On emotional level, very much. This is why you met. And also we've got this beautiful six of cups, and sides. Oh yeah, I'm, I feel like that the, this con connection has not been an easy one, but uh, no matter what happens, if you break up, if you continue this connection, if you are not together currently, whatever the circumstances are, I feel like you will, you love this person and you will always love them. And they love you too, and they will always love you too. I just, this is just obvious. It's not gonna go anywhere with the Six of Cups, it's just the energy of soulmates. People who are just on the same vibration, and they're on the same life path. And they're just mm, meeting each other from lifetime to lifetime, also past life connection, and uh, sometimes just to say hi, sometimes to do a favor for you, sometimes to hold your hand, to be with you. Um, to heal the things that happened while your souls were separate, like childhood stuff. They're like mm, cleaning up the mess in your life and to cleaning up your soul a little bit here to help you uh, from now on to go lighter, to, to, mm, to be more lightweight in life. A lot of love is here. And not like superficial, I love you because you are this, I love you because you do this. I just love you because I always have. And because I know your soul. And there is this bittersweet feeling and sadness with this side's energy. Maybe there is distance between the two of you because of whatever restrictions, or maybe you can't be together, or maybe it's just confusing. Or maybe you, you, you separated, but there is still this good feeling from knowing that such a special soul came your way. And it's almost like you don't need to explain your love to each other, you already know. You don't, know, you don't need me to tell you that they love you, that, that you love them. It's just, uh, it is what it is. It's just a fact and it will always be there. <clears throat> Let's look at your oracle cards. <laughs> yeah. You see we were talking about past life connections and uh, distance and the way you feel each other through distance. Then we've got this Milky Way and perspective. Mm -hmm. The bigger picture, I feel like you both have become very wise in this connection. You, you, you started to see things from like a bird's eye view. You gave each other this bird's eye view, and uh, now things have become more... Uh, you became more understanding towards your journey, towards your pain, towards um, the struggles in life and the hiccups in life. And also this person gave you the perspective on yourself. Your emotions, your childhood, your story, I feel like they have given you the bigger picture of all of it. They showed you the truth and you do the same for them. It's it's very global, it's very major. The effect you have on each other is just like you, you zoom out each other's vision. I don't know how to explain it. Some relationships make, a, make us ground and focus on little things in life and material stuff and pleasure and fire 
and other relationships are just like, you see, it all makes sense now, and they're very spiritual and very um, ethereal, this is what's happening here with you and them. Yes, we've also, we also got this card, patience. This connection taught you patience, this person especially. And I feel like there were quite some, quite a lot of separation here, quite a lot of uh, struggles in this connection. Maybe you're go going through this currently and you're feeling, you're thinking, how, how much longer do I have to be patient to be happy finally with this person or whoever it is in my life? Am I going to get my happily ever after? Am I going to heal from my past, from the things that are weighting me down? I feel like th there is a lot about divine timing that this connection is teaching you, is showing you. And some things are very synchronistic and this is how it's like a confirmation for you that life is not... Um, it doesn't... Basically, time doesn't exist. That's, I feel like, the main um, insight here. Everything happens at the right time, but I don't know how to explain it in English better. Yeah, patience. Patience is important here. We've got this card, conflict and defeat. It could be the times when this person triggered you or you triggered them because you see each other very well. You sense each other's wounds, your uh, traumas, um, complex um, issues in your psyche and it's very easy to trigger each other even without want wanting to, like it, it just happens sometimes. By accident, I feel like I don't. I don't sense any malice or that this person ever wanted to hurt you. All they wanted was to heal you, to, to love you, to give you time, attention, and uh, nurturing. And um, yes, there is only love here. I don't sense like a smallest particle, smallest bit of anger or of hatred or anything malefic. It's just sometimes you, f you make each other feel defeated, feel like uh, you can't make this work. Sometimes it feels like whatever I do, it's not enough, or whatever I do, it eventually hurts another person. How do we make it work? In 3D, I feel like it's the, the biggest issue here is 3D, um, grounding this connection. That's the other side of this beautiful spiritual, spiritual nature of this connection, is that it's not grounded enough, it's hard to make it grounded, it's hard to make it work. And that's why you both feel quite defeated. And maybe that's why conflicts arise between you two. Also we've got this card, regeneration. I'm strongly sensing the cyclic, cyclical, cyclical, cyclical nature <laughs> of this connection when it, um, sometimes it kind of you break up and then you get back together and then something happens, you get separated and then you get pushed into each other's lives by some miracle again. So it goes in circles here. And I feel like it happens from lifetime to lifetime. And um, yeah, and I feel like both of you currently want this connection to work out or maybe if for this to get a fresh breath again to for this connection to rejuvenate, to keep going, for you to come back together again. After some uh, time of separation, of being separate and missing each other and uh, yes, just feel each other's energy a little bit more. That's what you want here. Yes, and we've got this beautiful card, Heaven on Earth. This is how it feels when things are good between you two. Like nothing matters at all. Whatever happens in your career, whatever happens with your family, uh, with your friends, in the world, when you get into your zone, that special zone for the two of you, it's all you need. 
because it's such a deeply healing connection here. It feels like heaven on earth, literally. You forget time exists, you forget um, troubles exist, pain exists, because you're healing each other uh, when you're together, when, you, when you're fully focused on each other. It feels so good. Um, let's get some messages about this connection for you, Pile One. What should you know about this connection? Why, why did you meet with this person? got this card support lean on your inner circle during this time maybe you're struggling without them maybe you are struggling with your mental health or your emotions or you're just feeling kind of down and you feel like the only person who would understand you the only person on earth who would have a deep true understanding of how you feel and what's going on with you is them but somehow it's more beneficial for you to talk to other people around you at the moment for some reason because maybe this person is unavailable or you you kind of gave each other some time for your own healing for your own things that you have in life like separately so talk to your friends if you're struggling if d don't keep it in talk to someone your family your friends whoever it is that you trust Are you ready? <laughs> this is beautiful. We've got this card, marriage. This relationship is moving towards a sacred union. Yes, I feel like whatever is happening currently is just showing you how treasure, how precious uh, this connection is for both of you. And um, these are just hiccups on the road. The separation, the distance, whatever it is. I feel like you have all of the chances of making this long-term stable connection, but it's going to require a lot of work. But I feel like you are deeply healing to each other, and that's very important, especially if you want uh, a serious long-term commitment, long-term relationship with this person. I think you would want someone who is good for you, not someone who is bad for you mentally and emotionally. So yeah, pile one, very beautiful reading, I hope you liked it, I hope uh, it helped you, it gave you some clarity into your situation, and I wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others, and I will see you in my next video, bye bye. Hi everyone who chose pile number two or clear quartz, let's see why did you meet with your person. We are opening the region with temperance, conversation, three of wands, house, queen of pentacles, and constancy. Mm-hmm. Pile two. Uh, this connection has taught you patience. That's what's coming um, through very strongly. They taught you patience in the way you think, in the way you, you communicate, in the way you make decisions in your life, in the way you judge others almost. I feel like there is this energy of calm in you. This connection feels quite calming for me. Almost like this person uh, took you away from your... Mm, I'm seeing them kind of taking you away from your uh, set group of people that you had around you, maybe your friend circle, maybe your family circle, and they're showing you that sometimes it's good to be on your own, sometimes it's good to be in your own uh, zen, in your own calm, in your own energy. 
without wasting yourself on other people, without uh, being too available for others, being too like social, and it's just this connection is showing you the other perspective. This person is making you more um, discerning, more peaceful within yourself, and it's like they're showing you that it, there is no point of surrounding yourself with like so many people and being a friend to everyone and being so chatty and alive and um, just it's not as crucial in life to be with someone every minute of your day for some reason it feels like this person showed you that you're good on your own that you you know everything already you don't need so much advice you don't need so much uh, support around you it's like you have all of it in yourself it's time for you to heal to realize what it is that you really need for yourself and you can only know it when you go into inside of you inside of yourself when you sit with yourself in silence and quiet and listen to your own soul it's all about perspective i feel like that the, the reason why you met this person kind of slowed down your life a little bit they uh maybe they took you out to nature or they showed you the importance of nature of uh, lonely times even i'm not saying th that this person is evil and they kind of manipulated you into going into leaving all of your precious connections and friendships and being only with them no that's completely different they just showed you another way of living almost like a calmer way of living more true to yourself finding your own path knowing where you want to go knowing where you want to live almost geographically knowing where the life you want to lead the things you want to eat um, <laughs> and not think about what other people how other people see you how other people see your relationships you just became so calm and so accepting f of what it is and uh, more spiritual as well with this temperance more balance Th there is a lot of balance that this person brought into your life and it's very mutual you have the same effect on them this is since this is how you met it's like uh, you became more whole and balanced with them Maybe you even started meditating or just listening to some classical music. There is just something coming about this connection. Initially. What's happening currently? We've got three of wands and house. There is a change of your perspective, some opportunities. You are kind of broadening your horizon at the moment. And this is the effect of your connection. Maybe you are literally thinking of moving somewhere three of wands in this deck for me is this uh, like looking at the map where do i go now um where should i travel where should i live at this house energy um where is my place in this world um i need a plan i need a strategy of um getting there of of settling somewhere i feel like y you're seeing the bigger picture you're seeing the future with this person could be or maybe without them we'll see when we clarify with the oracle deck but now you you see your future more clearly now you can plan now you have this steps in your mind that you could take to get to this perfect place maybe of having a home somewhere like could be simple as buying a house or starting a family Almost like now you see the opportunities, now you're ready to take action, now you have a plan. And this is uh, why you met with this person, so they could give you this feeling of, like, to broaden your horizons. To think bigger, to dream bigger. Because I feel like in the past you were so involved with your immediate circle, you were so involved with maybe gossip, no judgment here at all on this challenge. Um, gossip, maybe like talking about news or politics or whatever it is, things that don't really change your life necessarily. 
And now when this person came around, you, you see, okay, wow, there are so many opportunities for me out there. I can move somewhere, I can live with the person I love, we can buy a house, we can move to this country, we can... Yeah, opportunities, I'm feeling this like future-oriented energy that they brought to you. And um, why did you guys meet? Also, we've got this Queen of Pentacles and Constancy. To realize that what you really want is a stable, long-term, committed connection with someone you could trust, with someone who's very nourishing for you, who's good for you, who's making your life feel safe, feel stable, feel like there is always someone for you at the end of the day, um, someone you can trust. And I feel like you have become yourself, this person. Maybe you were much more social back then, before them, much more impulsive, much more like chatty and uh, spontaneous, and you just uh, lived your life day to day, like one day to another. And now you are more about stability, you are more about building, you're building for the future. Um, this is the Queen of Pentacles, this is a card of a wife for me. If you're a man, change the meaning, could be a, a husband, but it's like a loyal partner for life. I feel like this is what you have realized you want to be. This is what you, uh, the potential you, you found in yourself. Yes, I can be this loyal, um, committed partner to someone and I want to do this. I have enough energy in me, I have enough dedication, I have enough love to be this for someone. And I know that I deserve it and I know I can make this work. Change of the perspective. I feel like now your uh, goal in life is stability, is long-term potential, is committed structure, is uh, like basic things, not excitement and emotional roller coasters or like smart conversations, stuff like that. Now you just want a stable family. And this is why you met with this person. This is the, how they changed you. And you have the same effect on them. This is very, very mutual. Let's look at your oracle cards. Mm -hmm. Exactly. The, some cycle has completed here with this uh, full moon and completion card. I feel like you matured. You matured very much with this person. They helped you come to this uh, conclusion on your own about what it is that you find valuable in life, in relationships, in uh, your long-term commitments, trust, reliability, stability, and groundedness. This is how you want to feel in your connections. You don't want to be um, all, yeah, all confused and manipulated and charmed and uh, like hot and cold behavior, it's not uh, valuable to you anymore, you don't want that, you know what you're worth, you know what you want, and uh, yeah, for both of you, I feel like uh, this connection was has shown you the bigger picture, has shown you the, helped you to grow, helped you to mature, become more wise, yeah, a lot of maturity here. And patience also. You became very, very patient. Because you know that everything good takes time. Um, we've got this card, Prosperity Begins. Uh, again, putting the seed into the ground, growing something stable, like growing this tree with this uh, deep roots, knowing that you want maybe to start a family, to have children, to like all of those traditional things, um, to have um, like something saved for the future, to know that your future is secure. This is the effect of this connection. Uh, this is why you met with this person, to realize that at the end of the day, this stability, this um, commitment and uh, yeah, nourishing connection, that's what's important, that's what's valuable here. And we've got door to value, again, something about prosperity, something about abundance. Maybe this person showed you the importance of mm, being grounded in life, like going a little bit 
put in a little bit more um, time, attention and um, energy into the 3D life, like making things work here on Earth. Spirituality is all good, uh, emotions are all good, good communication is all good, but like building something is very important for you both at the moment. Stability. Yeah, something to hold on to, tangible things. Maybe your career has improved, maybe you found um, other sources of income, or maybe your person did. So this is the effect of this connection for sure. We've got this card blessed. I feel like this is how you felt when you met. It feels very valuable, this connection. It feels very precious. It feels like something you would want to hold on to and something you would um, express your gratitude to the above, to God or divine, whoever you believe in, that someone like this entered your life and changed you so drastically. It feels like a blessing. It feels like um, something you don't encounter every single day. A lot of value this connection holds for me. That's how it feels. Like this Queen of Pentacles, she's just treasuring this little pen pentacle. She's just holding it so close, uh, trying to make sure that it doesn't um, get um, injured or lost or doesn't get away. <laughs> and also we've got this card, Tantric Union. Again, all of those basic things, all of those simple pleasures, maybe the intimacy is just so good, it's just so grounded, so earthly, uh, like Taurus. Um, pleasures like my astrology people you know what i mean maybe you have really good sexual compatibility and uh, intimacy with this person feels so fulfilling it gives you so much energy it gives you so much pleasure and you've never experienced it, this with anyone else and uh, yeah you're kind of fulfilling each other you're uh, nourishing each other by being by sharing your energy with each other by being close to each other very earthly connection this is very earthly very grounded and like delicious <laughs> i want to say <laughs> let's get a few messages uh, about this connection what do you have to know about it pile two what do you have to know about this connection We've got this card, boundaries. Firm boundaries are needed now. Yeah, maybe you have this tendency of merging with this person, like forgetting yourself, forgetting your own needs, forgetting, uh, like neglecting your friends and family and you're just all into them. You're just, you become one with this person and sometimes it's not healthy. Sometimes it feels like I need to keep uh, myself for myself. I can't lose myself in them, it feels wrong, it feels scary, it's not healthy. So it's important for you both to to set boundaries, not without hurting each other at the same time. Mm. And then we've got this card, second chance. This relationship deserves a second chance. If you're not in a communication currently, if something happened, if there was like a hiccup, if you broke up or maybe it feels like you're distant now this is a confirmation for you that maybe you could try again because this connection for me it feels like it has a lot of potential here it's like only the beginning the seed was just planted a tiny little seed and we can grow this beautiful huge tree and there is a lot of abundance here for the both of you uh, financially materially and like in love and in intimacy and it's just all very nourishing for me the energy of it feels very nourishing for you both so maybe it deserves a second chance after all so this is all i had for you pal too i hope this reading helped you i hope it gave you uh, clarity into your situation and i wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Hi everyone who chose pile number three or Amethyst Heart. Let's see why did you 
meet together with your person? What was the reason? What was the bigger picture? We are opening the reading with the magician. Thought. Three of Swords. Oh, I was sensing this. When I was shuffling. Money. The Tower. And Merchant. So, pile three. I feel like initially when you met with this person, um, they made you feel like everything is possible. They made you feel like you have all of the resources to make it work. You both just clicked and you both believed that um, you can make it work. You have enough power, you have enough confidence, you have enough intelligence, you have enough love, emotions, it's just all aspects of it uh, made you very focused on this connection. You felt like we can do this and you, you both became very um, very involved in this connection. There is this huge desire to manifest it, to bring it into fruition, to, to get together, to build something beautiful. And you were like very focused. There is a lot of overthinking here. How do we, how do we make it work? What do we do tangibly? Um, what's important here? But at the same time, what I'm sensing here is uh, there is a lot of, uh, I don't want to say selfish energy. It's just everyone was in it for themselves. In a way. Like... Um, you're both very strong characters, you're both very, very strong people, separately. And when you came together, it's just two power houses <laughs> trying to... It's difficult to compromise, like... You're very individualistic, both of you. You just... You believe in yourself, but at the same time you can't rely on another. It's difficult for you to imagine yourself um, compromising things or maybe bending under the wheel of someone with this magician I'm getting a very confident but at the same time kind of individualistic energy that you brought to the table both of you it doesn't feel uh, like a teamwork for some reason to me you were both trying to manipulate this connection so that it works under your terms, on your terms, the way you want it to go. But it didn't work because everybody was doing whatever was comfortable for another. I feel like communication wasn't quite, um, wasn't present enough in this connection. Only if you talked to each other, only if you expressed what it is that you wanted, what it is that you were doing in this connection. I feel a lot of water under the bridge. You were doing something that your person had no idea of. Both of you doing the same, like separately. You were getting together, having good times, but then separately you were like, okay, I need to do this next time we see each other. I need to uh, make them feel this way. I need to start taking this connection into this direction like uh, making this, turning this into this format, like committed connection or, uh, I don't know, whatever it is, family, marriage, it can be anything. But it's just, it's like you're working separately behind the scenes, that's what I'm getting here. And you are both brainstorming, and I see you both kind of brainstorming, what do I do, how do I make him like me, how do I make her um, fall for me, it's just uh, you are both very focused on each other, but you, there is a lot of manipulation here. Maybe you're both like alpha people, like even if you're a woman, you might be very uh, masculine and you don't, you don't feel comfortable uh, following someone and uh, you just and your man is the same, your partner is the same. 
And uh, there is no balance here. You're both very, very powerful people. You're both very um, strong-minded. You're both very strong-willed and decisive. And it's just, you feel, you're very confident, I'm seeing, in life, in everything, whatever you do. You feel like you can, you can get anyone in your life. You can um, get anyone. Uh, make anyone fall in love with you. You can build a relationship with just about anyone if you wanted to. There is a lot of confidence here initially. But somehow things didn't really work out. Because now what do we have? We have three of swords and money. Something about the, uh, the everyday 3D things of this connection. They didn't work out maybe some circumstances like practicalities broke this connection eventually broke your heart and your person's heart maybe uh, someone couldn't offer another whatever they were expecting from them i feel like it was you that uh, that was left very much heartbroken almost feels like there was some promise that wasn't delivered some unspoken promise that you didn't really talk about but it was in the air it was between the two of you and it wasn't delivered by your person or maybe just mutually you were expecting something this is a general reading but i will give you examples of like getting a proposal or maybe getting simple as getting a flower bouquet on the valentine's day or like um, moving in together or finally feeling like yes we are in a connection we are a couple now we, we are doing this uh, there is no one else for me but you there was some unspoken promise that wasn't delivered at all and it feels like sh heart shattering completely like cutting through your core it feels so painful so um disappointing and sad I really feel for you. Pile, pile three is just like, if this couldn't come through, if we couldn't work this out, if you couldn't give me this, like basic things that happen in relationship could be like um, some sort of support, some sort of, yeah, some practical things. Maybe when you were down, when you had problems in your life and you were struggling with job, with um, your living situation and this person didn't show up, they were not there for you because they were busy with their work or whatever they were doing and it felt like why am i even here if you couldn't give me the basic things like basic human support how can i call you my beloved how can i call you my partner if you couldn't provide this for me when i needed you at the moment when i needed you the most how can we even talk about any future here like the like those basic foundational things that build trust between two people this were missing for some reason like valuable things that everybody values trust support when someone helps you out when like your car broke down and you're stuck in the middle of the forest you can't get out things like that or when you're moving and the other person is just like is like can't nowhere to be found like when you're making a big move from one apartment to another and you are like carrying huge suitcases by yourself all sweating and breaking your back and your partner is just uh, doing whatever makes them happy at the same time it's like what's the point what is uh, what is the value of this connection if this didn't happen i hope i don't sound, sound too gloomy but this is what i see here let me know if uh, if this is not your pile, that's absolutely fine. If it doesn't resonate with you, but this is what I'm feeling here. Like basic foundational things were not delivered. Some promise was not delivered here. Someone spoken. I don't think you even asked for it. It's just it happened or better, I should better say not happened, not happened. And it feels so heartbreaking. Like what was the point of all of it? Why was I trying to make this connection work if you don't give a damn about my safety almost my 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 well-being and it's like you just want to scream into the darkness i'm seeing this breaking point here after that it's like uh, 
now you have a different perspective and now your almost your view on relationship is kind of reconstructed now with this tower energy and merchant the things you valued before in your connections and your relationships now you they don't ho hold much value to you anymore now there's a superficial things it could be like good sex or like passion or maybe like um, whatever it is compliments romantic gestures you used to value them a lot but now you value someone who invests in you someone who wants to build future with you there is this destruction of your set um, perception of connections your expectations of of love of other people of how of the way other people love you especially your, your romantic partners now you're like is it really worth it is it really valuable what you're showing me at the moment i don't think so i've been there i know what love is and i know what love is not almost like your your whole uh, the structure of love or the, the way you're doing you were doing relationships in the past it's all breaking down now because of this person they showed you what you don't want they showed you the treatment you don't want they showed you the pain that you don't want and now you're always kind of you're more discerning now whoever comes into your life next you're going to be quite you're going to take it slow first and then you're going to evaluate what it is that they can give me are they going to give me something um, to work with something tangible or are they go going to give me beautiful words or like empty promises that kind of thing it's a growing growing pains this experience it uh, helped you change even the value of yourself, now you know that you're not going to sell yourself short for anyone, regardless of how hot this person looks, or how charming they are, or how talented they are. If they don't value you, if they don't give you the things that are just basic, foundational, the, uh, what is the point? Let's look at your... Oracle cards, yeah, karmic connection, that's what it is, that's why it's so painful. Yes, you had an agreement, y you agreed to experience this together, so you could change your, your life, so you, could, so you could work out some karmic issues from the past, from your past lives. This card, DNA and karma is always about karmic issues, karmic um, knots that you had to untie for yourself with the help of this person. And karmic relationships, let me tell you, are never easy. They are like the hardest you could ever encounter. Yeah. Oh, wow. We've got this card, Angel of Balance. I feel like this person taught you a lot um, about your own inner balance, about how to find this tranquility, this peace, this quiet, um, beautiful energy within yourself. Mm, how to stop for a second in your life and just uh, enjoy the moment how to live in the present there's a lot of retrospection here a lot of um, this contemplative energy like loving the life you have currently around you at this um, certain moment without going into the past or going to find the future I feel like now you're much more balanced now you're much more whole person after this painful and excruciatingly like difficult relationship with them very similar energy of peace yeah i feel like now you feel free you feel very free in life because you were holding on to this connection you were trying so hard to make it work and now you just let go like the grip you're not holding so tightly to this anymore and you just it's all about divine timing whatever i know that my person will come my way and i won't have to do anything for them i won't have to try to deserve their love i won't have to like tie myself into like a pretzel to make it work i won't have to work for it well you don't have to work for love ever it just comes to you in divine timing and whatever happens before that these are just lessons 
and karmic lessons are the most difficult ones. And I see you, yeah, you, you, you are free now. This is such a beautiful way of living your life, of being. You are much more spiritual now. You are much more wholesome now. Very peaceful, very um, serene, and uh, just enjoy little things in life. You are a completely person, completely different person from what you used to be before meeting this person, this uh, partner. You are much more grateful for every single day and the kindness in people, the love that you are given, like tiny little moments like kindness of a cashier in your coffee shop um, or whatever it is, like small things, like beautiful flower blooming, it's just uh, very grateful energy is coming from you. And this is the type of energy that is going to attract this beautiful union that's coming your way soon. I feel like it's coming very, very soon. And it's going to be finally based on your heart space, on both of your, on you and your person's heart space. It's love, it's true love, it's harmonious, it's uh, kind, it's gentle, it's giving all the way, giving all the way. That's what's most important. I feel like that's what I have to highlight for you. Generous love, unconditional love, nourishing love. Just look how these two people, that nobody else um, exists for them in the world. They just look at each other's eyes and everything is good. Everything is calm, everything is peaceful and uh, life is good for them. Because they have each other, because they love each other. Very harmonious and uh, peaceful connection is coming your way. And I feel like it's going to be very significant. There is a lot of love because the last card we've got here is love. Such a beautiful card, very beautiful image. I feel like this is true love that's coming your way and this is the person you will end up with because uh, this is the one, this is the love of your life that's almost like uh, behind the corner for you, I'm sensing, very, very soon. Maybe summertime here, June, July, I'm seeing someone coming your way and they're going to give you all of the love that that you deserve. Love you back to life. Um, yeah, let's get a few messages for you. I don't know, I don't really want to do this for that connection for you, Pile 3, because it was so intense and uh, ooh, but I did get a few messages for the other two piles, so just to be fair, I will get a few more messages uh, for you too for this connection that you inquired about. Why did you meet with this person? What was the bigger picture, why did you meet? Mm -hmm. Interesting, we've got this card stability. This relationship can stand the test of time. This is interesting because I feel like you're wondering if it's worth uh, waiting for, if it's worth uh, holding your hopes for this connection to, to come back to life, to continue, to is it going to hurt you again? And I feel like it has the potential of uh, going on, but do you really need it? Do you feel safe in it? Do you feel like it's nourishing for you, it's fulfilling for you? That's the question. I'm seeing this person wanting to hold on to you still, wanting to come back to your life still regardless of what happened. Wow, we've got this card, Leap of Faith. It's safe for you to make the move you are considering. So I feel like the, the fate of this connection is completely in your hands at the moment. So whatever you've been thinking when you clicked on this video, uh, when you chose this pile, whatever you were thinking, maybe giving this connection a second chance or maybe getting out of it completely, freeing yourself, the thought you had, this action is safe for you to make. You can do this. This is like a confirmation for you that your intuition is uh, telling you the truth. You should listen to it. You're on the right track. Don't be scared. So this is all I had for you, Pal 3. I hope it was uh, helpful to you. I hope it gave you clarity into your situation. And I wish you lots of happiness and lots of love 
for yourself and for others. And we'll see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.